Steve Stricker's Friday morning went much better than his Thursday afternoon, shooting a 70 to put himself at even par here for the U.S. Senior Open at Century World. But he did finish with two bogeys on the final four holes of the day. Nonetheless, Stricker says the tournament is still there for the taking. And with a good performance during the weekend, he has a chance to become a two-time U.S. Senior Open champion. Yeah, I'm paying attention to who's up there on top and, and where the lead is at. Uh, obviously, I wanted to get you know, more under par than what I was at there uh, coming in. But um, yeah, it's just about patience too, you know, and, and we're only halfway through and, and a lot can happen still. And Padraig's right. I mean, you can you can get it going here. It's, uh, it's out there. If you play well, you get it in the fairway. It's definitely, um, it's but it's tough. Well, Stricker saying today that he feels like this course is playing like a true old fashioned U.S. Open course. And he said, if anything, he expects maybe the lowest score to be four or five under for the round. Stricker surely hoping he can do that at least once this weekend. Reporting from the U.S. Senior Open for 27 Sports, I'm Luke Gamble. And Madison's Jerry Kelly also st starting his day on hole 10. He had a great front nine going two under par. Kelly finished the round with one under 70. He is tied for third at one under par, and he is paired with Stricker tomorrow. They will tee off at 1229 in a group of two. Here's what Kelly said when he was asked about that pairing. Uh, that, that would be incredible. I mean, yeah, that's a fairy tale week, even for us. I mean, it's pretty cool. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm all for that. Uh, we, we really enjoy playing with each other, so, uh, you know, it'll, it'll just make it that much cooler.